Runners are walking in, though. Field of six for our feature race, and they're off, and Marne's glory has stolen a bit of a march here from the tapes. Leads by a good few lengths for this Coral Long Distance Hurdle, this Grade 2 Class 1 event, and Marne's glory, the outsider, has gone bounding off in front on the run towards the first of the 12 flights. So Marne's glory, and the maroon and white, skips over at about 15 lengths up at the moment over Flight Deck, who's in the quarters in second. The pink and the dark quarters. Then comes Dash or Drasher in third place, the yellow cat. Marie's Rock is in the pale blue, the market leader with a noseband. She jumps out ahead of Paisley Park, the 2019 winner. Paisley Park running in this race for the fifth consecutive season. Paisley Park, the former Stayers Hurdle champion, and Hugo's new horse is being held up last of the six. In the colours of the mighty Big Bucks, who won this race four times on the bounce between 2009 and 2012. Paul Nichols and the Stewart family. So making the run then on the side of the course. And Marne's glory now just steadies in front, but it's built up a big lead. Bordering on about 15 lengths over Flight Deck, who's racing in second. And then Dash or Drasher, who's in third place up on the outside, the yellow cap. Well, well in the Stayers Hurdle, Cheltenham last year, Dash or Drasher. And he's up on the outside of Flight Deck now, just moving into second place. Marie's Rock is being held up on the inside, the light blue colours for Nicky Henderson, who won this race with Champ last year. Then comes Paisley Park, fifth consecutive run in this race for him. Andrew Gemmell's colours, the blue, and Hugo's new horse at the back, Harry Cobden and Paul Nichols looking for trebles. A bit untidy there, actually, Hugo's new horse at the back of the field. So they make the run up the home straight on the first circuit. Marne's glory, not so far ahead now, but still has a good buffer of about eight or nine lengths over flight deck, who's... We're in the blinkers. Dash or Drash are wider out the red sleeves over that hurdle. And then Marie's Rock and Paisley Park together and Hugo's new horse, the bat marker in the colours of the Stewart family. This will be the last next time around. Marne's Glory out in front. Skips over it to head off Flight Deck and Dash or Drash are together. Then Marie's Rock on the inside, the light blue. Paisley Park is next in the field and the bat marker is Hugo's new horse, Paisley Park, who won this in 2019, was second to the ill-fated Time Hill in 2020. He was third to Thomas Darby in 2021. And of course, second to Champ last year after that stirring duel up the home straight. Paisley Park, one of the old favorites on the outside of Marie's Rock at the moment, the bat marker, that is Hugo's new horse. But in touch as the field now stack up slightly as Marne's glory has come back to the field. The lead's down to about two and a half lengths as flight deck has closed. Pace has definitely steadied. Dasher Drasher is on the outside, the yellow cat. Marie's Rock on the inner. Out wider is Paisley Park. And Hugo's new horse is the bat marker. So making the run then into the back straight. Heading towards a line of four flights down here. Flight six is next. Marne's Glory has come back to the field. Flight deck within a length and a half now in second. Then Dasher Drasher. Marie's Rock on the inside. And then Paisley Park and Hugo's new horse on the run down towards the next hurdle on the far side. Marne's Glory, only about a length up now on flight deck in second. And to Chris Ward, racing in third is Dash or Drasher, then Marie's Rock, Paisley Park, and Hugo's new horse, the bat marker. Heading towards the flight that was there first is now number eight. Five left to jump in all, but a long way to go in the Coral Long Distance Hurdle. Marne's Glory over in front still to Flight Deck in second. Dash or Drasher in third. Marie's Rock in fourth. Paisley Park, a confirmed stayer up on the outside of Marie's Rock. And then Hugo's new horse heading towards the last one down the back. We'll jump that well. Marne's Glory still in front by about three parts of a length. To Flight Deck who's got close in second. She's ridden along there was Dash or Drasher in third. Marie's Rock moving well at this stage in fourth. Will they... Try and test her stamina. Paisley Park is next. And Hugo's new horse, although the bat marker just nudged along by Harry Cobden. And he's about six lengths off the leader, Hugo's new horse at the moment. They make the run on the side then. They've got three left to jump in the home straight. And up front now, flight deck applying some pressure to Marne's glory. They're still one and two. Dashel Drasher is racing in third place. Behind those is Marie's Rock on the inner of Paisley Park, who's just nudged along as well, but we know that he finds for pressure as they head for the final five furlongs on the home turn. Flight Deck has now picked it up. 
to Dash or Drasher. Mahn's glory may have done his running now on the inside. Marie's Rock still moving well at this stage for Nico de Boinville. Then comes Paisley Park in line for home with three left to take. Dash or Drasher and Flight Deck are the leaders. Three legs back to Marie's Rock, who wasn't brilliant over that flight in third. Hugo's new horse has been pulled up before the third last, and they have two left to jump in the long distance hurdle. And it's Dash or Drasher now on the near side who's got to the front. Trying to stay with him is Flight Deck in the blinkers. A few lengths back to Paisley Park and Marie's Rock as they head towards two out but four have a chance it is dash or drasher by a half length to flight deck in second the other two are going to have to raise their game paisley parks under pressure marie's rock needs to really find from there on the run down to the final hurdle then the long run and it's dash or drasher who has the lead at the last dash or drasher and rex dingle in front by a couple of lengths Flight Deck made a mistake, Paisley Park sticking on as he always does, and then comes Marie's Rock, still a furlong to go on the flat, Dash or Drasher, ridden for all he's worth, here's Paisley Park now, staging a rally on the near side, Dash or Drasher's in front by a length, Paisley Park trying hard to close, and he is closing, Dash or Drasher though sticks his neck out, Dash or Drasher from Paisley Park, it's close between them, another thriller, Dash or Drasher and Paisley Park, it will go to the judge of the long distance hurdle, great finish. Third was Flight Deck and fourth, Marie's Rock. A very proud Jeremy Scott has just seen Dash or Drash and deny Paisley Park in a veteran tastic finish. That was amazing, wasn't it? Well, it was because Paisley Park hasn't he run well and, and yeah, we've, we, we've managed to get ahead of all those youngsters and <laughs> they've tussled it out and gee whiz because Paisley Park was coming. So. <laughs> Um, no, that's fantastic. It's so nice to get his head back in front and, uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, the dream continues and, you know, he doesn't seem to have lost his spark, Not but he did, did look like he was struggling down the back straight just, just for pace, so uh, maybe, maybe the slightly quicker Graham wasn't quite to his liking, but he's done it, so it's great. And typically he's come on quite a bit for his debut. Yeah, and that, that was really hard work the other day and, um, yeah, we probably just found his fitness out a bit, uh, but, yeah. Uh, slightly better ground and um, easier track, I suppose, as well. That would be great. I'm so pleased because he had such a fabulous season last season, didn't he, with the switch to hurdles? Well, yeah, and we just were beginning to wonder whether may maybe his spark had gone a little bit and he's just that bit older and, you know, how much did he really want to do it? But it's, yeah, he stuck his head out all the way today and, uh, and yeah, so proud of him. Well, I can already see loads and loads of people want to come to the winner's enclosure to congratulate you. Um, what would be the plan next? Might you go long distance, long walk hurdle next? Well, we're entered up. We'll see how it comes out of this. But uh, yeah, that, that was sort of the aim. Uh, yeah, otherwise, we're looking after Christmas really. Okay. Well, many, many congratulations. A well deserved success. Well done, Joe. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You. Yeah, we're just uh, chatting about Dasha Drasher's fine win in the Grade 2 long distance hurdle, Rex Dingle, uh, enthusing about what he'd just done. Talk me through the race and, and how it panned out from your perspective. Yeah, so I suppose it looked like there was plenty of pace beforehand. Um, and uh, I kind of discussed with Jeremy about um, if there was pace, perhaps riding a bit different, getting a lead. I've done it a couple of times and uh, it worked well. And obviously there was a, a strong pace early with the, with the front runner and I was happy to follow. Travel quite strong, probably a little bit stronger than I'd have liked. Um, and then, you know, once he gets into a battle, I got into a battle turning in, and he does fight for you. You know, he does. Um, he really, he can quicken and keep quickening for quite a long time. And uh, I was just, uh, could hear Paisley come in after the last, and he just hung on. Thankfully, yeah. <laughs> you must have. You could. I'm sure you could hear the pounding heaves. You must have guessed who it was. Yeah, I could see his head. Yeah, because I, I could see his head upside me, sort of half furlong out. Um, <laughs> And uh, I was, yeah, we, we hung on, which was good. Hung on. He deserved that anyway. Yeah. He really did deserve it. I mean, he had a stellar season switch to hurdles last season, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. And he, he is very versatile, you know. He, he did, um, he ran over fences last year. He finished second in the many clouds, you know. He can do, he can do both and he can do, you know, he can run over two and a half, three and on all sorts of ground as well. Um, it's just hard to win at this level. Um, so I'm pleased that I've managed to get a big one on him. So. It's nice. And you, I assume you're expecting him to come on quite a bit from his seasonal debut. Yeah, we put it down to him needing the run, and I'm glad it was that because you know you're in the back of your mind. You're like, oh, did he need the run? Didn't he need the run? Because um, you know we we were hoping he'd run a, a big race last time and, and come on for it, and he ran well. Um, but you're obviously a little bit disappointed. But it was just he needed a run. Yeah. Which is good. And now it's the long walk, I hear. 
Yeah, well, I'll leave, I leave that to the boss, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble is, he's so versatile. It's like, where do you go? <laughs> well, that's, yeah. that's, that's not a bad problem to have. And as you say, I mean, it's, it, it's great to, to win a big one on him. What was the reception like? Because that's the kind of finish that national hunting fans absolutely love between a 10-year-old and an 11-year-old that we see season in, season out, running in all of these top races. What was the reception like? Exactly, yeah. They're both very much loved horses. Um, and he, you know, very popular. It was great. It was between them two, and um, like you say, it, you know, I'm not going to have too many of them sort of horses in my career. Well, I, I might, but I might, I might not. You know, but um, so I'm just trying to enjoy him, enjoy him while I can. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad you are enjoying it. Many congratulations. Well done, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.